Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, I would like to share developer resources that I've built to make it very easy to deploy our open source models on AWS. So we'll look at some sample notebooks and cloud formation templates with a variety of configurations. And in just a few clicks, you'll be able to deploy any one of our open source models in your AWS account. Okay, super nice. Let's get started. As we've discussed before, RC has published a number of open source models on the Hugging Face Hub. And uh, I encourage you, of course, to go and check out our page. I will put all the links in the video description. And you can see some models. And of course, you can go and visit the model page and you can go and clone the repo and you can use those models with the Transformers library. But most of the time, you will want to deploy this in the cloud. And for a lot of you, that means on AWS. Okay, so that's why I've built some developer resources to make that process as uh, painless and straightforward as possible. All my code lives in a public GitHub repo. Let me zoom in a tiny bit. Uh, it's called rc.ai slash AWS samples. So what will you find in here? Uh, Let's start with, I guess, the simplest way, which is model notebooks. So here uh, you'll find a, a growing list of Jupyter notebooks that basically let you uh, deploy uh, one of our open source models on uh, Amazon SageMaker. So maybe let's just open, I don't know, why not RC Lite? Nice 1.5B model. And well, it is a Jupyter notebook. And if you just click through these, uh, you'll be able to deploy the model, downloading it from the Hugging Face Hub on, um, on your instance uh, of choice. And I've tried to use the, let's say, most cost-effective option every single time. And you can see here for RC Lite, we've got G5 X large, which is really, uh, really inexpensive. Those configurations are known to work, uh, so you don't need to... Uh, mess around too much with a uh, sequence length and whatnot. Uh, these work, I've tested them. Maybe you can push the, the limit a little bit. Maybe there's, there is some extra GPU memory left, uh, but at least those will work out of the box. In all the notebooks, I also have enabled the uh, OpenAI Messages API, which makes it very simple uh, to, uh, to run inference with the models, just run the, the OpenAI uh, input and uh, of course if you have existing OpenAI prompts they, they should work right and the rest is really just SageMaker as you have seen it uh, 200 times <laughs> on this channel uh, creating an endpoint etc etc and then prompting right and you can see the the OpenAI format here and I've got a bunch of different examples uh, feel free to add your own and of course never forget to delete the endpoint at the end to avoid unnecessary charges, okay? So that's the first way, uh, the first simple way to, uh, to deploy models, right? As you can see, straight from the hub using the model ID. Okay, so that's option number one. The second way to deploy our models is through the AWS Marketplace. And uh, these are based on model packages. And model packages are just a SageMaker uh, artifact that combines an inference container and the model artifact and you know, model settings, etc. So that it's all packaged, you know, in, in one single object and you can deploy from there. Um, so you need to start from the marketplace page. Those notebooks will not work unless you have subscribed to our models on the marketplace. Okay, so just go to the marketplace page and well, you see, uh, you'll see some of our models in there. I uh, don't know, maybe look at uh, why not Llama Spark, right? And you just need to subscribe to it. Uh, so click in there, that's all there is. Uh, you will receive uh, an email confirming subscription. Uh, the open source models are free, so uh, no surprises there. You will just uh, pay for the underlying infrastructure. Once you have subscribed, uh, you could go and deploy with the built-in features in um, in the marketplace. So you could try uh, CloudFormation, you could deploy in SageMaker Console, 
I guess, with the AWS CLI. But, you know, I would recommend running my notebooks because, again, those have known, proven, tested configurations. So once you've subscribed, uh, just, again, clone that uh, AWS samples repo and open the notebook for the, uh, the model you just subscribed to. So let's look at, uh, I don't know, uh, well, RC agent, why not? And it's very, very similar to, uh, to the previous notebooks, except here, of course, uh, you need to use the ARN of the model package that you just subscribed to. So you don't need to tweak this. Um, I've uh, entered them all and you can see they're available in, I think, 16 AWS regions. So you don't need to change anything, just run those cells. We will automatically select the, uh, the model package for your region. And then you just go and create the endpoint and the rest is very much the same. And of course, there's another one. If we go up again for, I guess, production and automation, of course, cloud formation is the best, uh, the best option. So you will find CloudFormation templates to deploy uh, models. And uh, because, you know, I am an extremist, I guess, um, I did consider three different configurations. First, uh, deploying from the Hugging Face Hub. Um, then uh, deploying from uh, a model package that you could have created yourself. These are not the marketplace. Uh, packages and we use those scripts internally. So I thought, you know, why not share them too? So if you do create your own model package, you can use one of those. And then um, you could also deploy from a model artifact that you stored in an S3 bucket. Okay. And the end result here will always be the same. You will always, you will always get a SageMaker endpoint running in your account. But again, you could be deploying from, um, from Hugging Face, uh, you could be deploying from the Hugging Face Hub, from a model package, or from an S3 artifact, right? And because, you know, not one size and not one inference server fits everyone, um, you have files for Hugging Face TGI and for the um, LMI container by AWS, which uses the uh, DGL serving, right? So that should cover uh, all your needs. Um, as always, of course, please read the templates, make sure they work for you before you run them blindly. Um, you shouldn't have to tweak much in there. And that's a good way to deploy models. Okay. And I guess maybe I'll show you some demos in, in another video, but here I just wanted to highlight um, this repo and uh, how to easily, easily deploy our models on SageMaker. Okay. And I will update the list. So uh, keep an eye on this uh, repo you know watch it i would appreciate a star why not <laughs> and uh, and i'll keep adding more models to this okay all right well that's pretty much what i wanted to tell you so as you can see uh, it's very very easy to deploy rc models on aws on SageMaker, and uh, and you can do it in many different ways right and maybe there will be more in the future who knows all right that's it for me today until next time keep rocking